So I'm back at the boat, and you're going to probably hear the geeses, uh, the gooseys blasting away in the background. Hold on a second. It is bright, man, oh man. Yeah, so back at the boat, uh, just doing some, I'm just starting to do my pre-launch uh, projects. Uh, it was really, really cold this morning when I got here. Uh, it was well below freezing, so it's, it's clear and sunny. So since there's no cloud cover, it's going to be cold, and especially considering that there's still ice behind the boat here in the marina um, it's uh, the air coming across is really cold so I thought I want to take advantage of it because it is a Saturday and I want to take advantage of the, at least a sunny day and can do some work it's nice and warm inside under the shrink wrap but that is coming off tomorrow so I thought what can I do to prepare for the shrink wrap coming off and I thought to myself self that windshield frame needs to be polished. I thought that since uh, last year when we bought the boat, if you guys have been following me uh, for any time, like the time you'll know that when we bought this boat in Ohio last year, the first job when we brought it up to Ontario, Canada, where we are uh, located, was to get the canvas done. So that was, you know, get into the shop, get it done, get the boat home to our marina, that is. So I didn't have a chance to clean this beautiful stainless steel windshield, at least from the outside, because, you know, when the canvas was on, of course, you saw all the projects that I did immediately afterwards once we got it home. So I did not have time to do that. So I thought today would be a perfect opportunity to polish just the edge, like where the canvas is going to be meeting the windshield, because it is that beautiful stainless steel windshield on this boat. And so I polished all around that edge and uh, it, it's looking really really good so tomorrow I am hoping that I can well I'm not hoping I'm gonna do it I don't care what the weather is the shrink wrap comes off and I'm gonna install the canvas so I wanted to have the windshield all prepped and ready to go so I thought that before I put the canvas on this would be a good opportunity to do that polishing because as you know our canvas is black so all that trim that goes around where the snaps are is black canvas material as well so I didn't want to get any polish on that and you don't have these white streaks all over it so I'm, I'm really glad that that's done but anyways like I said so one thing leads to another and I see a couple other things I want to do but they're gonna wait until uh, the boat is in the water or at least I'm gonna wait till the canvas is up and we'll see how it goes from there uh, still got to do a couple other things outside before it goes in but I got to get the canvas or sorry I got to get the shrink wrap off tomorrow to expose the hull because uh, a fairly big job it's not a big job it's gonna be uh, quite time-consuming is to take the rub rail off all the way around the hull that I mentioned to you last year when the boat came out because there is at least two points at the back end of the boat around the uh, transom area uh, where the deck mates with the hull um, you know when they build the boats I'll show you a couple of pictures from where uh, from when we were in Florida a few years ago uh, we did a, a tour of the Merritt Island plant to see where our then 400 sun, uh, sedan bridge was built and I mean they have the hull sitting there and then they put all the stuff in it and then they drop the deck onto it and then they just screw the two together all the way around so if there's any caulking at that spot it's failed or if it's missing <laughs> It's not doing anything because there's water running in so I want to take the whole rub rail off and then clean that up and you know caulk it nicely all the way around put it back together so I have to have the shrink wrap off so I can gain access to that because the shrink wrap wraps all around all around the boat and you know part way down the side so that's why I got it to get the shrink wrap off and put the canvas up but we can look forward to that tomorrow on the next video so I'm gonna leave it at that and I just want to ask you guys if you uh, have the same or similar type of experience as me where you you start working on the boat and when you get into it you say to yourself self I gotta fix that or you're forced to or you're forced to do more work before you can do the actual project that you had planned to do so let me know leave me a comment and yeah um, yeah, it's getting close. We're getting really, really close, friends. Okay, I'll leave it there, and I will look forward to your comments, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.